What up guys, it's Case Miss Prime here back at you with another video. Um right now it's Saturday, May 14th at 5.16 in the afternoon. I was watching Family Feed a while ago, but um I just got home from running out around with my dad a couple hours ago and um I picked up something I've been really wanting to get. Um What am I get what did I get? Well, I have one of those classic uh, thank you bags. Question is, what's inside it? The answer? Drum roll, please. I've been wanting these for a while now. Check this out. All nine issues of Blackest Night. All nine issues. The first one, which was getting out of free comic book day a couple years ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. All eight comics. And I've already. Actually, all nine if you count the uh, free comics like the one which started it all. And I've already blown through three of these. Um, oh crap, my screen froze up again. But, um, yeah. I've blown through th the first three already. The free comic book day one. Uh, one and two. I've already blown through three of them. So, basically let me just tell you what Blackest Night's all about. Basically Blackest Night is a crossover kind of comic series which mainly involves um, all of the heroes of the DC Universe. Uh, Batman, Superman, uh, Man Bat, uh, Aquaman, all the basic heroes including the Flash. And Basically, they're... something has come upon them. The War of Light has started, and it's starting with this whole new core that's coming in and killing other heroes and bringing them back as a member of their core. I'm talking about the Black Lantern Corps. Um, basically, what they're doing is they're killing other DC heroes, and they'll be possessed by their ring, and they'll come back as a member of the Black Lantern Corps. Um, it's already happened to a couple other heroes, and I already know it's going to happen to a bunch of them. Most mainly, they're immortals, kind of like you know zombies, like lanterns that you know we expect. But I'm really excited to read these. I've already read through three of them, so let me just go ahead and uh, spread them out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and actually pick up the camera and I'll show y'all all night of them together. Okay, so here's the first issue of Blackest Night. As you can tell, this was a free comic book day version. That started it. Blackest Night issue one. The dreaded Black Lantern logo. Issue two. See a Superman right there. Anyone else I can recognize? I think that's Aquaman. Right there with the spear. Issue three. Well, four if you include the first one. Issue five. Well, that's issue five. This is issue five. That was issue four. Necron Rises. As you can see, there's Flash, Superboy, Superman, Wonder Woman, Hal Jordan. This mainly is a Green Lantern comic. The New Guardians. I guess they're not really immortals anymore. Issue 7. As you could tell, there's. It's a. As you could tell, so many other characters have joined up with the core. You could see, uh. Wonder Woman there is a Star Sapphire, Scarecrow is a Sinestro, 
And I think that's uh, Martin Manhunter as a uh, Blue Lantern. I don't think that's Flash. No, that's not Flash. That's not Flash. And issue eight. And surprisingly, Thal Sinestro is a White Lantern. And he's wearing a mask. I wonder why. But yeah, basically, all nine Blackest Nights. I mean, you have to love that. And I got them. Now, um, let me reset my camera here. Now, originally, the prices on these were a lot different. Um, total, um, I would have paid about 40 bucks or so. But I actually ended up getting a couple discounts, so I would have paid about fifty-two dollars. I only got paid, I got like twelve, twelve percent off, so I only paid about uh, forty bucks for all these comics. And uh, this one was free, but every other comic here, if you look at the price tag here for issue one of Blackest Night, originally these were three ninety-nine. I'm not gonna come out camera, but. Originally, these things were all $3.99 each. I don't know how much they were per comic. I have no idea of knowing. But however the much these things were worth, they're much worth it. Um, I gotta say, these things are well worth the money. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping these in their sleeves. I might review these after I've finished reading them. I might. Not sure yet. But... These are amazing comics. I'm really happy I have these. I really am a huge Green Lantern fan, and my goal is to read all nine of these comics before I see the movie Green Lantern, which I have a couple weeks. I have one, two. Actually, let me get my iPod. I got a uh, app on here. By the way, I have the uh, uh, if I go focus the Blue Lantern Corps there as my symbol. So I have, there you are, calendar app. I have one, two, three, four, about four or five weeks, roughly, until the movie comes out. And I can blow these comics easily because I'm a great reader. So yeah, Blackest Night, awesome. Now you're probably wondering, where did I get those? Well, where I'm from, in my little corner of the galaxy here in Florida, um, I live near a small little comic shop. It's called Past, Present, Future Comics. Um, they had some nice sales. Uh, I just signed up for their newsletter. Um, they are going to add me as a friend on Facebook. Let me know of sales and updates. And they have some nice people there. They have tournaments there every weekend in Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's hard to navigate around the store. But they do have a, a wide selection of merchandise. Uh, tons of comics, tons of figures if you want to pick up some vintages. Uh, some, plenty of clothes. Good vintage stuff. So, yeah, definitely check them out. Um, I will put the link to their Facebook page in the link below. So, you can check them out. I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.